All right, everyone, and peace and Christ to all of you. This is a very short video just to answer a bunch of Fifi. Uh, you know, uh, if you look at the chat, you know, some of you says to me that someone he said, I will not dare to say to him in his face or in her face, son or daughter of Muta. And look like this person is very brave. Maybe he will beat me or she will beat me. The question is, as long as you are really, first of all, offended by being called the son of Muta, which mean you agreed, that's mean you are insulting your mother, and that's mean somebody is saying you are a son of prostitution. See, for me, I'm not educated like you, so I thought Muta mean marriage, because you Muslim, you claim it's marriage. So why you are being offended by saying the son of Muta? Simply because you just admitted that you're a prophet, he promotes prostitution. And the second I say to you, son of Muta, according to you, you get offended for that make your mother a prostitute. And you say, I don't dare to say that to you in your face because this is very offending. So shame on you to follow a man who allow your mother to do Muta, you filthy idiot. And shame on you to be offended for calling you son of Muta when your prophet, he is the one who allow it and this is in the Quran. Now, there's a Abdul who said that Muta was forbidden. It's allowed in the Quran, but it's forbidden by the Sunnah. The fact it's not. There's a Hadith says that Muta is forbidden later, but there's Hadith says clearly it's not. Let us see some. This is your Prophet saying any man, any woman, they want to if each other for one or two or three nights, they can... Uh, uh, sorry, my voice is tired. Uh, we were live for many hours in the other account. So... If they want to have, and look, the Muslim, they say here in the first translation, marriage. So if it's marriage, why you get offended? If I say you son of Muta and Muta is marriage, you will not be offended. But now you got your prophet busted. You agreed that Muta is a prostitution. And when somebody says to you, son of Muta, he is saying your, your mother, she was doing one night stand and for money, not even for one night stand, for money. For money. So thank you for confirming the first issue. Now, the one who said that Muta is forbidden later, will we have hadith from the Sunni, says it clearly, that this is not true. You Muslims, your book is full of garbage. Let us see some Muslim Sunni hadith. You see, we are using Sunni, not Shia, because Shia, until now, they practice it and they are proud about it. And their girls, they rent each other for, you know, for each other. If we go in the, in the Sahih hadith, not any hadith, Sahih, it says the following. This is Sahih Muslim. Read carefully. He says that we did practice and they lie here when they say temporary marriage because as you see, the Muslim get offended. If it's marriage, nobody will be offended. But it's a prostitution, obviously. During the lifetime of the Prophet Muhammad and during the time of Abu Bakr and Umar. So Muhammad now is dead and the Muhammad is still, still practicing renting their each other women. You go to the guy, you rent his daughter, the guy, he rent your sister. That is Islam. And they get offended simply helping us to expose their cult, to expose their faith prophet. Now, the one who says to me, you will not dare to say to me in front of my face, son of Muta, what does that mean? You will beat me? Look how coward you are. You just said, if I say to you, son of Muta, you are going to turn violence with me. But you don't dare to say that in your video. Do you dare? Do you dare? By the way, I don't watch those videos no more, but, but this is what people told me. This is what people told in the chat here. This is why I changed actually the topic. It was a different topic. As long you are brave and you are willing to say, I will beat you up and I will kill you. Why you don't dare to say it, you coward? You don't because you are a potato. Secondly, as long you want revenge for the honor of your mother and you want to kill me, but you don't dare to say it because you are a potato again. How come I say always Muhammad son of Muta and you don't want to kill me? I want you to go live on air and say, Christian Prince, I will kill you for you said the prophet is son of Muta. Your prophet was born four years after his father's death. How many of you, those who claim to be heroes of Islam, dare to say, Christian Prince, I will kill you? You don't dare to do so. See, because you're a potato. So you are upset for saying you are son of Muta. So you're upset for the honor of your mother exposing your prophet that he is a filthy man who promotes sexual relationship without marriage, temporarily renting women. And you are not going to seek the honor of your prophet and defend it and use violence with me. 
So you use violence with me if I say to you, son of Muta, coward like your prophet. And you don't even dare to say it. I challenge them, all of those, to make videos says, Christian Prince, I will find you and I will kill you. Coward. Either you are a man and you say what you want to do or don't even open your mouth. You are a potato. And everybody can hear from your, your, your voices how much nervous you are. Potato. And here we fry you. So we practice one night to stand muta in the time of the prophet. Amazing religion. The prophet, he was allowing Muslim girls to rent their private part for one hour or two hours or one day or two days. And she got paid for sex. Aren't you ashamed to follow such a man and you are upset for insulting him? I'm not insulting him. I'm exposing him. And you are the one who is insulting him. You just admitted that your prophet promote your family to work as a prostitute. And you have no problem with it. The second I say it to you, you get upset. The Muhammad say that to you, it's okay. Quran says that to you, it's okay. You are just a hypocrite like you're a prophet. And none of you dare to say to me, what you claim to be as a courage do you dare to say to me that in my face say say what you will do i want to say i want to know what you will do do you dare even to say it you're a potato and those who says that do you dare to debate this guy do you my friend anyone who claim to have knowledge hmm? especially from those names they claim that we will hang up on them. I will never hang up. I repeat, I will. And if I hang up, I lose the debate. Just to show you, they are coward. They are terrified. And why I want to debate you anymore? I burned you. I made you shish kebab. I apologize. My voice is really bad. I was speaking for how many hours now? <clears throat> so we are laughing. We want, there's no need for debate anymore. But you coward if you dare. I will never hang up on you. And the one who hang up first is the loser. Take my word. Especially for this Fifi. Special offer. Before it's expired. Coward. Son of Muta. And as long that is offending you, that's mean you are offended to be a Muslim. For this is what your prophet did. You just expose your prophet. You just say that Muhammad is a filthy man who made the mother of Muslim men Muta. Shame on you to follow Muhammad. If you have little dignity, you will refuse Muta. You will refuse whoever approve it. It's not me. I'm just reading for you what is in your book. No, no, we will not stay live because my, my net is bad, really. I might lose connection anytime. Uh, we, will we will go live on air again soon. All right. And we will, uh, any Muslim, he think he is, especially those who they call themselves uh, with beard, scholars, etc. And you know, I'm very, I'm very grateful for those people. You see, through them, we get all the big fish. This is uh, Susu Sabil, now we get him busted, humiliated. Shabir Ali, humiliated. Mimi Hijab, he hung up on me more than eight times in less than three minutes I spoke. I did not even speak three minutes. And he did not dare to, call, to, to debate me. And I am the one who called him. <laughs> Where is the debate? Cowards! And they fabricate and do editing for my videos. They are terrified. I am your master. And your prophet is the joker in our game. Everybody is laughing. Look at this. Disgusting. Look at this. Muslim, they are practicing temporarily renting women. What is that? Temporarily renting women. If you don't believe me that this is about renting women, here we go. This is alislam.org explaining what is muta. Who? Alislam.org. What they say about Muta? They say this is a kind of rental. Kind of what? Rental. Rental. Muhammad, he was ordering you to rent women? Yes, brother. Read carefully. Al-Islam.org. Muta is considered as a kind of rental. This is why he's upset when you say to him, son of Muta, because you are saying to him, your mother is, is, is a rental mother. <laughs> So, if this is an insult for you, why you follow such as a cult? You, you faithy coward. I don't watch their videos. They are a bunch of kids. But you told me that those people, they said that. I'm laughing. Thank you for exposing your prophet. And this why actually I changed even the title of my video. This is supposed to be at 9 o'clock. I mean, 10 o'clock at night. But because of the help, 
Uh, that's an opportunity. Here we go. Muslims agree that Islam is a stupid cult, filthy cult. It is nothing but a prostitution prophet promoting prostitution. Him and his God, and even the Quran says, force not to for to your girls to do prostitution if they choose chastity. Which means if they don't choose chastity, they go for it. And this is a muta. At least that one it was for slaves. This is for a free woman who have a free will. She rent her vagina to any man he pay. And read carefully. Muta is considered as a kind of rental because the general basic aim in this kind of marriage, they call it marriage. Do you believe that they call it marriage? They just said rental. Do you see how they are perverted in their mind? How you call it rental and then you say marriage? <laughs> and what is the benefiting of this? Intercourse. Read carefully. It's kind of rental, considered as a kind of rental, because general main basic aim is this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of a woman. So what is the product? Muslim women. They wear burqa, but they have no panty, and they get paid for sex. In return of this enjoyment, the women should receive certain amount of money or property. It's official prostitution. And those Abdul, when they get offended by saying son of Muta, they, they agreed that Muhammad is a, is a fraud. He is a pimp. Read carefully. In defining rental, in, uh, you know, uh, uh, they explain to you the rental. Look about rental. Exchange of specified sum. <laughs> so I'm not going there. Uh, Rental is a marriage? Guys, rental is a marriage. How it's a marriage? It says it is a rental. Rent, it, it, it is rental marriage. Oh, okay. <laughs> so guys, you see, the fool, they get offended. And by getting offended, they prove that Islam and Muhammad is a fraud. For me, I don't care for he, she, those kids. For me, I spank the biggest snake, Muhammad himself. He is under my shoes. You like it, you don't, he is under my shoes. And you are helping me to whip my shoes with his face. You got offended from his teaching, you filthy. You just admitted that Muhammad ordered your mother to rent herself to somebody else for a bunch of pennies. I hope she is spending good money on you after rented herself. So when they say to you, do you dare to say to me face to face, son of Muta? First of all, tell me what you will do if you are a man. Say it and say it as long as you're talking about public. Say in YouTube, I'm going to kill you if you are a man. You don't dare to say it because you are a potato. Tomato. Isn't it the punishment for insulting Muhammad's death? How come none of you says I'm going to kill you? Because you're a potato. You wish I will be killed, but you don't dare to say it, for you are a potato. Bless your sister, Sabil Ali, Sabil Ahmad. Little girls, girly voice, blink with your eyes. And now your mother, she is doing a rental. Good for her. I hope you are saving the money for the bad days. So do you see how they explain to us by their own anger that Muhammad was a fraud? If Muta was a marriage, he will not be offended. Do we agree? So what if I say to you, son of marriage? Correct, guys? If I say to somebody, you are son of marriage, well, I am son of marriage, so what? What's wrong with that? But I said, son of Muta, he is so upset. Do you dare to say that to me face to face? Thank you very much. You're just your filthy idiot coward. You just admitted that your prophet is a perverted man and that is an insult to you and you agreed that your prophet was asking your mama to do Alabama business. Hmm? Hmm? They're not Alabama actually, where it's called, in the, there is a prostitution in, uh, 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 I forgot, I forgot the name of the territory. You know, they, they have like uh, certain areas very well known for prostitution, but it's not legal. Even even in America, it's not legal. Even in America, it's not legal. Unbelievable. In Islam, it's legal, brother. And if you go to the Middle East, you will see the muta all over. Look at this guy. He is staring at Allah in person. Take a look. Take a look, brother. And all of them, they are wearing Islamic clothing. And all of them, they are wearing hijab. Red district, red district, okay. You see, brother, very conservative people. 
very very conservative this is Islam I'm not going to stay long please download the video I will make it short so you can download it and I will try to come back later at night uh, my time so we can have more fun and you see I'm not answering and refuting those the, the kids I'm refuting Islam they, they don't mean nothing for me they are terrified they don't dare to call me the only one who called me is a guy from Nigeria who believed that the Muslim Sunni are, are, are a bunch of a fraud Shia are a fraud Hadith is a fraud anything is a fraud the only thing is not a fraud is Quran and when he will ask him about the Quran he do not know how to read the Quran and he can explain the Quran this is the only crazy guy who called the rest of them who will grow beard they are terrified and scared even if we promise them we will never hang up on you and the one who hang up is a loser still they will not do it for they are terrified for they are sons of muta officially and now you cannot say that muta is not a prostitution in islam because you get offended with it and now you expose your faithy prophet who promotes such a garbage and the one who says in the chat uh, jacob is a muslim why you call yourself jacob jacob is a jewish name even your names as a theft isn't it this is your the one who said you want to call me is it this is your prophet saying that you want to tell me that your prophet he allowed it for a certain time well i thought the quran allowed it not the prophet and isn't it this is the hadith from the sunni it says abu Bakr and umar and muhammad and abu Bakr and umar after muhammad death they practice muta who is left all of you are son of muta good for you i advise you to put your money in the bank for muta business is halal i mean in this religion if you take interest is haram interest is haram brother but muta is halal his mother she go in the corner of the street she rent herself for one night stand is halal and this is quran and this is hadith abu kapsha by the way thank you for reminding me amir one of the names of muhammad is abu kapsha thank you for reminding me so we can call him abu kapsha from now on and this is my warning for those muslims who call me or try to be annoying if you try to insult me, each time you insult me, I will bring a shower of insult on your prophet. Warning. Behave yourself. You want to debate me? No problem. You want to prove me wrong? No problem. You want to be filthy? I will shower your prophet with his own faith. Promise. You speak with respect, we speak to you with respect. You want to be filthy? We will open the laundry package of Muhammad. And hell will be open on you. Thank you guys for being here. Please download the video, share it between with your friends. You see, my net is going down. Uh, share it with your friends so you can download it before we take it down. And may the Lord bless you. And I hope the Muslims they understand that Islam is filthy. And those who threat or say claim that they can really do something to Christian friends, they are covered even to say it. Even to say it. They don't dare to say it. They are potatoes. And you think if you think you can intimidate me you are you, you are me, really making me laughing a person who write books about the cult or garbage like muhammad he will never be intimidated and about in person not person i mean that will not make a big difference i know i'm speaking about the biggest terrorist religion ever in history and it's still at the end of the day by following Muhammad, you admitted that you are offended by the muta of Muhammad, offended by Allah teaching. Shame on you. Shame on you to insult your prophet, say muta was bad, it's prostitution. You accuse my mother of being a prostitute. You just said that your prophet, he made your mama a prostitute. So Muhammad say you can, your mother, she can be a prostitute, you have no problem with it. Quran say your mom, she can be a prostitute, you have no problem with it. I say to you, you are son of muta, you get offended. Hypocrite coward liars and you got busted thank you for helping me and giving me a hand i appreciate them all i will try to go back live on air again soon if the lord provide us with better internet until then thank you guys for being here to read more to learn more about the cult of islam the garbage of muhammad feel free to read my books and you can find them in amazon and more language to be published soon christ is lord and muhammad is a son of muta and by the way he was born four years after his father's death and we will talk about it maybe later. Four years after his father's death, he is a son of who? Muta.
Have you ever heard of somebody who was born four years after his father died? Hello? Not four months, four years. Nice to meet you, Muhammad. Thank you. Take care, guys. God bless you. And see you soon again. Don't forget to download the video as soon as it is ready. Take care. Bye-bye.